Let's do this. Let's. Let's do this. Hello. You, you are a tiger. A little one. A cute one. I guess, like, but not so little. Yeah. Fred. Boom. Oh, Senor Bandito. Blocked off, blocked off, Fred's. Approach. Oh. Sometimes life gets very hard, Fred. Sometimes life gets very hard. I, I understand. Whoa. Look here. Look here. She's coming. Yep, she's out on patrol. Yeah, all right. Hello, all you big cat lovers out there. It's me, Derek, again. Welcome to another super duper fantastic episode of the Walker on the Compound webcast. Hi. Hello. Sass. Sass, 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 sass. Oh, <laughs> Look at this little, there was such a little squeak. There's such a little squeak. Yeah, hi. Do you ever get on this thing? Do you ever get on this thing? Yes, you do. She's like, is this proof? Is this what you want? Is this what you need for me to, for you to love me? It, pretty girl. Look at her. Look at her. Being a good girl. Being a pretty girl. Being a pretty good girl. Or a good pretty girl. Whichever one. Doesn't matter. The words are interchangeable. Alright. Oh. Milo's over there. We'll go this way. You know how many times... You know, the percentage of times I go, I start there and I basically just do the round through here. Let's go this way. Let's change things up a little bit. I know, right? People are like, whoa. <laughs> this is, they, Derek, you're getting kind of, you're getting, you're going into like wacky town. Don't mess with the formula. Don't tell me how, you don't tell me how to cast, I won't tell you how to be a dork. Capiche? Like, oh man. I'm I'm offended, but like I strangely can't look away now. I just the content is so enticing. Such a rebel. <laughs> Milo. 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 He really is using the space. Like every 10 or 15 minutes, every, it's just for, he, you know, he's like, okay. And then he, uh, you, you come by and he's like, okay, now he's up on that platform. And then 10 minutes later, he's like over, he's over there. And then, uh, and he's up over, he's up there. And then 10 minutes and everything he's on, he's on that thing. He's just, he really is just enjoying. He's just enjoying the space. Yeah, he really is. Makes me happy. Fred. Fred, 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 Fred. Fred, 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 Fred. You can stick your pizza in there? That's what these guys do, you know that? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes cats have, like, they'll, they'll try to sit there and they'll, they'll flap, flap, flap their bucket when you're trying to fill it up. That's what Munchie does. Munchie does that. He's a bucket flapper. And it's annoying. And that's when you have to get, like, literally a bucket. Like, you have a, a really big bucket 
and then you put a smaller bucket inside the really big bucket and then you pour concrete into the outer rim of the big bucket so that it holds the smaller bucket in place and then you tie that to the fence and then you can fill that with water and then it keeps the so when the tigers go i mean they can still like but it just takes them more effort than they want to kind of put in at the moment and they're just like whatever <laughs> they just leave it alone they leave it alone uh yeah munchie has one of those munchie has there he is you talking about my bucket <laughs> there they're talking about my bucket yeah munch we're talking about your bucket and uh it can be it can get really annoying especially you're trying to hold on oh i had to make a sneeze but when you try to fill up their water bucket and then some cats they just see that as like a signal for playtime you fill up their water bucket with the hose and then they they just like yes and they flap 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 the bucket and it splashes the water everywhere and it's no fun and then you have to spend an inordinate amount of time trying to hold on i had to sneeze again i think i have to sneeze again oh my gosh ah <laughs> allergies we had we had, hi, you know, you want to tell people about, about the pollens and the allergens in the air? Can you tell them what's happening? You know, you know, why am I sneezing so much? <sighs> but, no, there was a... Yesterday, it was, uh, it got like 95, 96 degrees. And today, the high temperature is like 77. 77, 78. Big difference. Um, so, yesterday, wind was kind of coming out of the south, which that's generally speaking, generally speaking, were hotter areas. And then it switched, wind's coming out of the north. A lot of times wind's coming out of the north, and it's particularly for this one, wind out of the north, it brings in a bunch of like mountain cedar polony type stuff, oftentimes from the Texas Panhandle and Colorado. That's why a lot of times, I don't know if you realize this, seasonal allergies aren't always, and oftentimes are not, uh... Yes. They're not from the flora that's immediately around you. It might be like multiple states away. Yeah. Like, I know, air masses, trade winds, that can carry stuff long distances. It's pretty wacky. I mean, cripes, earlier this year, we were getting dust, we were getting dust events from here in Texas based on dust that was getting that was getting picked up in the Sahara and then it was able to you know but the very fine particles make it way up into the upper levels of the atmosphere and then make it into the Gulf of Mexico and then get uh caught up into regional weather patterns fascinating fascinating stuff so we're getting dust particles here in Texas from the Sahara from North Africa so yeah, anyway, we had, we had stuff, and it comes through, stuff from the north, the winds, and it brings just, just, yeah, all right, it's not, the piss bushes aren't pissing as much as they used to. Ren, Ren, get your cute little tuchus over here. Get your cute little tuchus over here. <laughs> Melissa says hi. Melissa says hi. Mm. When she's not saying hi to other large carnivores from other rescue facilities. I'm sorry, what? Did I say that out loud? Yeah. Yeah. Melissa has been saying hi to other to other large carnivores, particularly a wolf named Zephyr. A wolf named Zephyr, who is very handsome, 
Okay? Very handsome. That's not the point. That's not the point. See, I'm really close friends with Bren, and I had to tell her. I had to tell her. <laughs> but anyway, everything was all good. You know, we were working, and it was hot, and it sucked. Ugh. Yesterday, out there in the compound, you're just sweating, getting dehydrated. The electrolytes are just going away. They're leaving you on a jet plane. Hi. Hello. Hi, baby girl. Hi, baby girl. And then the next day, the high temperature drops down about 20 degrees, which is wonderful. But again, another wind, pollen, all that stuff. Like, what a mountain cedar. That's a, use, a lot of times what it is. It's like mountain cedar. Do you see any mountains around here? No, there's no mountains. The air, but the air doesn't care. It's like, oh, well, let me bring the mountains to you. And I'm like, no, thank you. It takes like, sometimes it'll take a day or two. But when it first hits, after it hasn't hit for a while, oh my gosh, this morning, I'm just like, good morning. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it's stupid. Like, I never had seasonal. I never had allergies. Yeah, I know, I know. You're just, you've never been fed before, ever, ever. Never, ever, ever. <laughs> yeah. I know. I know. I never had seasonal allergies until I moved to Texas. All the pollens, all the plant sperms down here are weird. They just get up in your nose. You can see me. Oh, no, not really. Never mind. In this way? Yeah. Hi. Ah! <laughs> I was trying to wave at myself in the re in your eye reflection. You don't care about... You don't care about my cinematography. You just don't. I have a passion for these types of things. You don't care. Don't care. Let's see how it is. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> oh, speaking of, okay, let me show you. Let me, speaking of kitty cats, hey, calm it, calm it. Is she gonna bark? She might bark. He's in here cleaning. Look at him, see? He's up and moving. Okay. Milo must be part of like some sort of like homeowners association kind of thing, but like because he decided to come in here and all of these bushes have to be trimmed at exactly at ex <laughs> I don't know what would you call that maybe like uh, 18 20 inches. Yeah, all bushes in this enclosure must be trimmed at exactly 18 inches <laughs> And it's it's look there it All of those And those, and those. I had to clean up a bunch of bushes. He just came in here and just, he, and no one saw him doing it, but he just must have had a really fun time just, yang, 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 snap, and moved on to the next, yang, 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 snap. <laughs> Milo, Milo, did you have fun? Yeah, he did. He's like, I like killing stuff, you know? Look, it can be small woodland creatures, plants, doesn't matter. Killing's killing. That's why I admire Milo. He's principled. Bobby. Bobby. Bobby.
Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. Kevin. Kevin. Are you okay? He was acting really weird. I had a live stream. I had an Instagram live stream. And he was... He was getting into a legitimate fight with his tail. It wasn't even just like a... I wouldn't call it like a silly, just like tee-hee, pap, pap, pap. No, he was... It was just like... Heck, you, yeah, Drew put it great. Drew was commenting like, heck you, tail. It really was. It's like, Kevin, Kevin, what's happening? Are things okay? Things okay at home? So, yeah. Anyway, allergies, sneezing. That's why we have to put cement in the buckets. That's what I was talking about before. The four over there. Okay, so you have cats that go flap, flap, flap. And they tilt their buckets. And then you have kitty cats, like the four kids. They do the flap thing, but you know what else they do? They just, they just stick their peats into the buckets. They just go, Whoa, splash, 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 splash. The other cats just grab the bucket itself, which is annoying, which is annoying. And you have to sit there, you have to do so much stuff just to get one bucket filled. But with them, you'll get a bucket filled. And think like, okay, I can move on to the next enclosure. And then you're like walking along, walking along. And then you look back and then there's like two of them, two of them at the bucket, just, <laughs> just in there. You're just like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Stop it. That is your drinking water. <laughs> and they're just, huh, what? <laughs> they're so indignant. They're, they're just like, what? We're gonna do nothing. <laughs> okay, pretty, pretty, pretty sunset. It's very nice. Noe, hi, beautiful. I'm gonna have you end the cast. You wanna give us any pearls? Any bits of wisdom? Some of the good stuff? You know? Prem, primo content. Maybe a flop or some alub alubs. Or just, you know, chill, whatever. That's cool too. <laughs> that's, I, yeah, just whatever. Just, you know, that's, that's dope too. No, he. Oh, Hi, baby girl. Very beautiful. She's a good girl. All right. All right. Very good. Thanks for watching this episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hashtag Dorbus Award in the comment section below. Like and subscribe for all of your big cat goodness. And if you want to learn more about the facility around me, you can always visit the website carerescuetexas.com for more information. And I'll see you folks later. All right. Bye-bye. Monkey's Butter Toast. She saw a ghost Miko weighs the most